Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a hit or miss for you guys. I'm just gonna kind of jump right into this. I have been all over the place today. My makeup is wearing down. I will have everything that I have on my face down below in the makeup worn section if you are interested though. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump into this. I honestly don't have too many products. I'm still trying things out. I've been gone on vacation for the week, this past week, and um, it'll be, when you guys are watching this, it'll be two weeks ago that I was on vacation, but I am kind of pre-filming this a little bit. But I have not been trying out that much stuff. I just kind of packed like the items that I was going to be using like every single day. So I kind of feel like there was a week there that I just used the same things over and over again. And then the week before that I was filming like crazy that I had videos to put up while I was gone. So again, I was like trying out new things, using the same things, you know, just trying to make everything work out so that I wasn't like screwing myself in the end. <laughs> So I do have a few items to mention from first impressions that I have. Any items that I've mentioned in this video, if I have first impressions, they will be down below in the description bar. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first item is It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is their original. I think they have like an illuminating one now. I am intrigued and I think I do wanna try it, but I bought this I don't even know how long ago it was like it was a little while back and I don't know I have tried this several times you know and I use the tiniest bit like I see these people that are like the tiniest a bit will go such a long ways and I do but I'm just not loving it one youtuber that I absolutely love is Katie Luster Lux and she raves about this concealer and I really want it to work now the coverage is there this coverage is amazing but I always feel like I'm just kind of a creasy mess afterwards. I've tried this with several different setting powders. Laura Mercier, Too Faced Ethedral Powder, Cody Airspun, um, Flower Beauty. I mean, I've tried it with several different setting powders. I'm still just not loving it. As of now, this is definitely a miss for me. I hate to start this video out with a miss, but it is. I actually received it in my Ipsy like the same month that I bought this and I wish like crazy that I would have waited to buy it and then tried it with my Ipsy because I just had like a little sample but I did pass it along to my sister but I'm just not I'm just not crazy about this the formula of it is like greasy like when you put it on it's like very just not even oily it's just greasy like thick and greasy and even using the littlest amount it was just a mess for me I have creasy under eyes as well it's just my under eyes, it doesn't matter what concealer I use, powder, my under eyes are just creasy to begin with. So I want a concealer and like powders that work with that to make it like stay the same or look better, not make it look worse than it already is. And with this, I kind of feel like for me, it makes them look worse. I wish it didn't because the coverage is great. But yeah, that's where I kind of stand on this. I also wanted to mention, I've used this to cover blemishes like around my face. I know it says, under eye. So I'm not really going to give it too much hate for this, but usually when I'm going in with concealer, I cover up my blemishes too because that's what concealer is for. And with this, I feel like it picks up my foundation. It kind of just smears around, so I don't recommend this for covering blemishes. If somebody out there does that, I am shocked because for me, it was just awful no matter what foundation I wore, anything. As of now, this is a miss for me and I'm super bummed by that. The next product I received, I believe in a BoxyCharm. This is from Naked Cosmetics and this is their Holographic Highlighter Collection. So it's a palette and does have like the holographic effect to it. And these are the six beautiful highlights. Way out of my comfort zone. I honestly have not worn these that much, but I have worn the pink one. I believe I've worn the yellow one because it was kind of like a lighter color. And the purple one I've worn, I wanna say I've even worn the blue one. So I have tried them out quite a bit to know that they're really good. Like definitely out of my comfort zone, not something that I'm gonna reach for all the time. I feel like I could use this for Halloween looks or, you know, if I have a certain look and I'm like, ooh, you know, like a pink highlight would look really pretty with this or a blue highlight would look really pretty or maybe I want to throw like a 
light bright blue in my inner corner you know stuff like that i feel is when i'm going to reach for this palette besides that probably not that often but the wear time the formula of this everything like that is really good they are very pigmented as well and they're i mean they're just super super pretty if you're into this kind of thing and you use like holographic and like colored highlighters definitely pick this up because it is worth it these are really really good and i'm glad that i have something like this in my collection even better that i got it from boxycharm so definitely a hit the next product i got an ipsy bag probably like a year or two ago honestly like it's been a long time this is from trifle cosmetics this is their raspberry ripple it is a little blush trio tiniest thing ever super cute when I first seen this though, I thought, what a crappy sample. Like, I'm not going to be able to dip my brush in there or anything, but these blushes have so much pigment that you don't really have to dip that much into them. I sometimes will mix the middle and this light pink together though, because the light pink is really pretty, but a little too, like, I mean, the pigment is crazy. So it is kind of nice to take like the muted, like middle in between neutral color to mix with the outside colors to kind of diffuse the pigment or like the shade a little bit, if you get what I'm saying. But I can't say this is a hit for me. I don't know if you can get like a full size of this or if this is just how it comes, surely not. Um, I will look it up and have it down below in the products mentioned section though in my description box. But yeah, this is a hit for me. I'll probably continue to use this once in a while. I'm not big on blush. And I have so many blushes already that I kind of just tend to go for the same thing or my favorites a lot of the time. But I don't hate this. I do really like it. It's good formula. It wears good. The pigment's there. Just go light-handed. <laughs> Next, I have a couple Morphe items. First one is their Continuous Setting Mist. And I just talked about this and the next Morphe product in a first impressions. I'll have it linked down below. But I had never tried this. I was late to the game on this. This bottle right here is only $15. That's awesome. Morphe blows me away with their prices. They're super amazing, but I just love this. It is just a setting spray. I like that mist. Like it's just so good. And it's in an aerosol can. I talk about all this in that video if you want to check it out, but the mist is so fine and as long as you're holding it down, it's just going to continue to come out like an aerosol can. And that is just what's awesome to me. I do kind of wish the mist was a little bit thicker. I feel like sometimes it takes a lot of product to, you know, go over my whole face. I like the wet filling, knowing that my makeup's all melting together and is really going to stay in place. I feel like sometimes I have to use a lot of product of this to get that. But again, this is a pretty good sized can and it's $15, so definitely a hit. The next item is from Morphe as well. I mentioned it in that first impression, so you can check it out there as well. But this is the Morphe Brontour. This is their lightest shade, Glitterati, of course. I'm pale. But I took this with me on vacation, which was kind of a fail because I fake tanned before we left and I layered up. So I did two layers and then like it developed and I washed it off and all of that. And I was like, probably darker than I've ever been in my life. Still was like not that dark because I mean, I'm so pale, but I had to wear my foundations that I have that are like a shade or two too dark on me normally. So this was too pale for me, but my fake tan started to fade a little bit because we were in the pool so much. We were, you know, at the beach and stuff like that. So my fake tan really did start like wearing off as I was there towards the last day, day or two. I started wearing this and I love this. It is so good. Now I did wear this before we left. I Ever since I've done that video, I've been testing it out. And every single time I absolutely love how my contour and bronzer is looking the day that I'm wearing these two together. Now I haven't worn just one one day and the other the other day. I always pair them up together. Now I don't like swirl a brush around in them at all. I like to go in with an angled brush like this. This is the Morphe R4. I also really like the Exo Beauty Vegan angled brush. I use that for like when I really want to chisel out my cheekbones or 
not really chisel as much as just like really define it because I'm kind of messy with it like a bronzer but not like over the top either. So I just try to define that cheekbone there with the contour side of course. And then for the bronzer side, I was super intimidated by it, but it is gorgeous. I like to take this brush right here. This is the Morphe R2. It's a lot thicker and fluffier. It is still dense, but not as dense as like an angled brush like the R4 is. But I just like tap it in the shimmer side, like the bronzer side, and I go to town with this. My forehead, you know, on my cheeks over like my contour just like a normal bronzer and it is so pretty the duo together amazing definitely a hit it wears all day it gives you that goddess glow i'm obsessed with it if you guys have not picked this up you can go to ulta our ulta has it anyways you can swatch them and see what shade would look best on you i'm so pale i did go with the lightest so that if I'm not wearing fake tan, which is most of the time, I can just wear this. But yeah, definitely a hit. The next item is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. I just have a sample of this because I got a sample of this, I think with the purchase, and I've got it in a Play by Sephora box. I just recently got it in an Allure Beauty box. <laughs> they did a collaboration with Kat Von D. So I have quite a few of these samples, but I'm glad that I do because I really like this liner. It's a hit. There is quite a few hits in this video, but this is like one of the finest tip liners out there, honestly. Like, it's amazing. I'm wearing this today on my eyes. It has worn really good all evening. I put my makeup on probably uh, kind of later in the day, honestly, but it's still been on for quite a few hours and it still looks really good. It's super black. It dries down matte. I mean, what more do you want in a liner? Honestly, long wearing, all of that. It's easy to work with. You can get a wing really easily. And yeah, I really love this product. I would purchase the full size, but like I said, I have backups of the little sample sizes, which are great to travel with. So yeah, definitely a hit. All right, the last item I did in a First Impressions as well, it'll be linked down below. This was my Anastasia Beverly Hill Soft Glam and Om Rezy Highlight. And this is what it looks like, of course. I know that you guys have seen this blown up all over social media. I swear, Anastasia Beverly Hills products are so amazing that once they're releasing something new, it's seriously like all over my Instagram. Everyone is so excited about it and it's hard to like film a video on it because so many people are going to because their products are amazing, but I always want to. I want the products myself and I'm always so excited to try them out. I just seen that there's another palette coming out from Norvina. It is stunning purples. So much up my alley this year. I am just so excited for it, but did want to mention this. Um, honestly, I love it. It's so pretty. I mean, the packaging, the color, the layout of this, everything blows me away in general. But I, when I first tried this, I think I was a little too hyped up with it. I think I was a little negative in that video, but I honestly was just so hyped up over this product. Like I said, their products go everywhere. Everyone's raving about them. And what is hard for me is so many people are like, tan or tanner than I am and they can pull off so many different highlights where some highlights I just really can't and I can honestly pull this one off but I feel like this is probably almost as dark as I will go in a highlight because I'm super picky about it I don't want it to look like a streak on my face like I want it to blend out and be like a highlight not dark on my face so I feel like I can still use this now when I was fake tan and on vacation, it looked amazing, like amazing. This will definitely be my go-to summer highlight when I'm fake tan for sure, or when I'm fake tan in general, but it still is a really pretty product. There it is right there. It's super pigmented, so pretty, and yeah. That, I mean, it's it's a hit. I can say I do see a little bit of texture up on my cheekbones. If you have a lot of texture up there, you might not want to get this. 
does emphasize that quite a bit, but besides that, it's an awesome highlighter. Wears all day, makes you look blinding. You can see it from a mile away. <laughs> also wanted to mention that I do foundation and eyeshadow palette reviews strictly on my blog, so you'll never see me throwing eyeshadow palettes or foundations in my hit or misses, and that is why I do a full in detail, in depth review on palettes and foundations there. I will have linked down below my past, current, from the last couple of weeks palettes and foundations that I did review. But yeah, that is everything for this hit or miss. What do you guys think? Drop me some comments down below on what your opinions are on these products. I will definitely have more coming, I'm trying to get more organized and plan these out a little bit better. But yeah.